Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba tayo nagbumultiply ng binomials using the FOIL method. Alright, so kapag sinabi natin na binomial, ito yung mga polynomials na mayroong dalawang terms joined by a plus or a minus sign. Example is 3x plus 1. So, meron siyang dalawang terms, kaya siya ay binomial. Another is 2x plus 3. Now, how do we multiply binomials using the FOIL method? Alamin muna natin kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng FOIL na yan. mag ba tayo? Char! <laughs> Alright, so yung F-O-I-L ay acronym. Alright, yung F stands for first... O for outer, I for inner, and L for last. So, we're talking here of the terms in the binomials. Alright, so now let us multiply the first term of each binomial together. So, asan ba dyan yung first term? Yung 3x and yung 2x. 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. Alright? So, minultiply lang natin yung 3 at saka yung 2. That is 6. And then, tandaan ninyo na kapag nagbumultiply tayo ng variable, ina-add lang natin ang kanilang exponent. May exponent yan na 1. Hindi lang natin sinusulat. Okay? So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Kaya, naging x square yun. Alright? Next. O. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng O kanina? Sabi natin, O stands for outer. Nasaan ba dyan yung outer? We have 3x and then 3 dito sa kabila. 3x times 3, we have 9x. Alright? Minultiply lang natin yung 3 at 3 and then yung x. So, we have 9x. Sunod natin is yung i. Ano ba yung i? I stands for inner. So, yung inner ay yung 1 at saka yung 2x. Alright? 1 times 2x is equal to 2x. And then, for L, we have last. Asan ba dyan yung last term? 1 and 3. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Alright? So, hindi pa dyan nagtatapos kasi mayroon pa silang like terms. Pag sinabi natin na like terms, uh, ang titignan natin dyan is yung variable. Yung 9x dito and then 2x dito, magkatulad ang variable nila, kaya pagsasamahin natin sila. How? We are going to add. Okay? So, yung 6x square, sulat lang natin dyan, and then i-add lang natin to, 9x plus 2x is equal to 11x, and then plus 3. So, the final answer is, 6x squared plus 11x plus 3. Let's have another example. We have 3x plus 7 and 5x plus 6. Sundin ulit natin yung FOIL method. Multiply natin ang first term ng dalawang binomials. We have 3x times 5x. So, we have 15x squared. Right? Next. Outer. Asan ba dyan yung outer? You have 3x and 6. 3x times 6 is equal to 18x. Next is the inner term. Asan ba dyan yung inner terms? We have 7 and 5x. So, i-multiply natin. 7 times 5x, we have 35x. And then for the last term, we have 7 and 6. 7 times 6 is equal to 42. Now, i-combine ulit natin yung mga like terms. Alin ba dyan yung like terms? Yung magkatulad ng variable. Yung 18x and 35x. Kopyahin lang natin muna to. 15x squared. And then, 18x plus 35x, we have 53x. And then, plus 42. So, the final answer is... 15x squared plus 53x plus 42. Now, let's try this given example. We have 5x squared plus 1. And the other binomial is 2x squared minus 5x. Okay. Multiply natin ang first terms. So, we have 
5x squared times 2x squared. And that would be 10x raised to 4. Next, outer. 5x squared times negative 5x. So, tandaan ninyo, kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng isang positive at isang negative, ang answer ay negative. So, that would be negative 25x cubed. Next, inner. 1 times 2x squared is equal to 2x squared. And then, for the last terms, we have 1 and negative 5x. So, the answer is negative 5x. Now, may nakikita pa ba kayong like terms? Dito sa una, 4 ang kanyang exponent, and then dito ay 3, dito ay 2, dito ay 1. So, wala nang like terms. So, the final answer is 10x raised to 4 minus 25x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x. For the last example, let's have 6x minus 7y times 4x minus 3y. Okay, using the FOIL method, i-multiply muna natin yung first terms. We have 6x times 4x is equal to 24x squared. Next, yung outer term, we have 6x times negative 3y. Multiply muna natin yung negative 3 at saka yung positive 6. So, that would be negative 18. And then, yung kopyahin natin yung variable, we have x and y. Sunod natin yung inner terms, you have negative 7y and positive 4x. So, that would be negative 28xy. And for the last terms, we have negative 7y and negative 3y. So, i-multiply natin yung dalawang negative, ang sagot ay magiging positive. So, plus 21y squared, kasi dalawa yung y. Alright, so ngayon, i-combine naman natin yung like terms. Asan ba dyan yung magkakatulad ang variable? So, yung negative 18xy at saka yung negative 28xy. So, i-add na, i lang natin yan. Kopyahin muna natin tong 24x squared. So, pag in natin yung negative at yung negative, the answer would be negative. And that is negative 46xy. And then, copy lang natin to plus 21y squared. So, the final answer is 24x squared minus 46xy plus 21y squared. Alright, so I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo sa pagmumultiply ng binomials using the FOIL method. Uh, kung natuto sa tutorial video ko na to, pakilike naman ang video na to and please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Maraming salamat at mag-aral kayong mabuti!